another week another trading cycles video we're now in week 45 of the year 2023 my name is eric as usual and before we move on here i would like to remind that you should get subscribed if you haven't already also hit that bell notification icon so you get notified when we upload next if you have any questions leave those in the comment section and if you like the video press the like button and another forward here before we continue even further to keep in mind that we do not provide financial advice here all the content that we share is intended for educational purposes only always trade your price and not the prediction how are you doing Hermes? i'm doing very well actually thank you very much um for asking again <laughs> <laughs> all right and indeed uh, we are getting some good education here i hope for us our listeners as well yeah mm -hmm. um, but um yeah, the markets have been uh, really interesting um, these days and some things are working obviously better than others, but um, we are trying to obviously find those um, aspects that are working yeah, in, in our favor. Mm -hmm. And as always, we are working only with probabilities, so nothing is certain at any point of time. If you think something is certain, then it's most probably not. <laughs> so... Um, and as they say, if it's if something seems to be too good to be true, then it's probably not. Yeah. So same goes for markets. Yep. But uh, yeah, uh, we did find some interesting patterns last week, and we'd like to go through them now and see how they did work out. Um, as we see from the chart here, that the S and P and basically all U.S. markets did go up as a rocket last week. So no no turning back or looking back uh, within those five days of trading so um, it was really positive week and um, we did enter uh, not so long ago the seasonal um, seasonal pattern as well so that's quite good um, time to buy stocks at the year end yeah as we know from the history mm -hmm. Um, usually, yes, the history tends to uh, rhyme, not repeat always, but rhyme very well. Yeah? So that's why these signs are quite important to understand. Obviously, not every year is the same, and we don't expect the price to rise up until the end of the uh, year in the same manner. But still, tendency should be to the upside. Uh, let's have a look then what we did see last week. Um, so... Um, Seasonally, at least when we are looking for the last 12 years, um, this week has been quite, uh, well, quite flat, to be honest. Yeah, nothing, um, nothing major did stand out there. Um, now, what really happened was that uh, price did go up quite heavily. We did get um, quite good signals in the first half of the week. So it did turn green on our indicators on an hourly chart and um, there was a confirmation on tuesday as well so yeah that was quite good good tendency obviously going forward and the same was uh, visible from our statistical model yeah so the first half of the week was a bit negative and second half was quite positive yeah in the light of that seasonal tendency mm -hmm. and same flat picture was for queues as well yeah so they did they did act quite uh, similarly and also the the uh, seasonal seasonal pattern was quite similar yeah as well um now 50 day moving average um has been in this 30 percent area now for uh, or it was one two three four five six weeks yeah and this uh, this week it did break out then it, it broke out quite uh, quite significantly, almost to the 50% area. Mm -hmm. um, and also what we pointed out last week, that 200-day um, moving average for S&P 500 um, did reach that area as well. And uh, it was showing that the market was quite heavily oversold. And um, it was just waiting for a trigger to, to um, basically last out of that zone yeah and that's what happened as well um sector rotation has been moving in this weird pattern now so far so nothing regular at this point of time so uh, communication and um, 
and technology have been moving up not to the red zone but uh, back to green mm, and also energy and uh, financials and uh, industrials for example they're moving all all down mm. now the winners uh, so far in um, in the light of last five weeks have been utilities um, uh, then communication and also technology and biggest loser has been so far the energy sector yeah? So, fear and greed uh, did um, come out of that extreme fear zone, and it's back to fear zone now only. Not quite neutral yet. We shall see how it's going to go next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, astrologically, we did have quite um, positive aspects here. So, Tuesday was quite good aspect uh, between the Venus and uh, Uranus. And also Friday did show some some favorable aspects although they were a bit um, maybe dreamy and uh, and and maybe some um well how should i put it then you wear like pink glasses yeah in front of you so mm. uh, it might uh, fade your fade your um so to say vision a bit mm. so maybe too optimistic and that's what we saw really from the price section as well now yesterday on saturday saturn turned uh, back direct so that might um, indicate a turn on the market at some point uh, next week what we will have the first half is uh, is a bit positive uh, on the positive side but the second half and the end of the week is quite quite negative and there is one uh, interesting aspect that's coming up which is between uh, Mars and uh, Uranus which is um, also quite good indicator for financial markets I will go through that in more detail in a moment now seasonally yes we are in that uh, good good zone so it is pointing upwards quite heavily so that's what we saw last week um, now our 60-year cycle or decade cycle has been pointing downwards now. Uh, that didn't quite happen last week, so that went against it. So we shall see how it's going to act um, accordingly our next um, coming weeks. But uh, so far, that wasn't correct, although it did work quite well in previous months. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Mars cycle also is pointing to the upside, and the turning point is coming up somewhere on the 19th or 20th of November yeah but then it's going to point to the downside again and um, our Mercury cycle is also pointing to the market bottom at some time in December so it, it has been fairly accurate over uh, the past years and, and you can see from here as well that it picked those bottoms um, fairly accurately yeah. mm -hmm. not always but but yeah it's good Good to keep in mind as well. Now, that Mars Uranus aspect or opposition, just a little bit of history. So, um, our listeners might remember um, such thing as dot com bubble that bursted uh, back in 2000. <laughs> it was quite a big thing, and some of the markets did lose more than 90% of, of their value. Mm -hmm. And um, what we saw back then it was in august uh, 2000 uh, when this aspect did occur and as we can see it did pick up that top quite accurately there as well yeah and now what happened after that aspect the market started um, its decline for the next two years then two years later this aspect came into force again it did indicate another top here and there was another decline, but not so steep anymore. Yeah? And then the market started recovering. Now, almost the same thing happened uh, back in 2008 when we had financial crisis. That time, obviously, it didn't pick up the exact top of the market, but it was accurate in that sense that uh, it occurred uh, about a month before uh, Lehman Brothers went bust and um, very steep market decline followed so that was the, the basically end play of the financial crisis yeah 
mm -hmm. uh, what this aspect did indicate. Now it did occur again two years later in August 2010 and it did indicate another short-term top and a small decline afterwards yeah? and then the market started recovering. Um, now in this cycle we did see the first aspect back in 2021 and it was exactly on 14th of November if I'm correct yeah? and that was actually top of the broad market so if you look at the um, Russell 2000 for example uh, that market did see top in the mid uh, mid November 2021 and um, it indicated again quite significant market drop um, broad indexes uh, or major indexes shall I say like S&P 500 and Dow Jones did see their top in the beginning of January 2022 and then started their decline yeah now we are approaching a second aspect now in between those planets and um, what we might see then is uh, another short term top the aspect is exact on 11th yeah, this coming Saturday and afterwards we should see some sort of drop again after this aspect has um, has culminated yeah and that also indicates that market should start recovering all right so there is some hope that we are best of the worst uh, times mm -hmm. this time okay so yeah something to bear in mind obviously it doesn't work all the times but um, the, the signs are quite similar to the past and, and obviously it's something to bear in mind yeah mm -hmm. obviously again we are working with probabilities here yeah so um, that's uh, quite important to bear in mind. Now, Wix index uh, did drop quite a bit, um, although it, we are still in that danger zone, so it might not be over, especially in light of that, what, what's going to happen over the next um, weekend. So just be aware. Um, now, seasonally, next week should indicate another uh, top there. We might see some turning point on the 8th, yeah, which is Wednesday. Uh, that's for S&P 500 or spiders. And this is also true for queues. Yeah? Queues will show the uh, then a top out on um, Wednesday as well on the 8th. And our statistical model is also showing that the first half of the week might be quite positive still, and second half might see some weakness. Now, in macro view, what we did see last week, um, well, the Fed interest rate decision came out on the first, and they did keep it on the same level, so 5.5% still. And... Um, Friday the 3rd we saw some job market um, numbers and uh, non-farm payroll did show some weaker numbers now so 150,000 jobs created and unemployment uh, did rise one percentage point so basically 3.9 now expectation was at 3.8 okay so it's getting a bit worse not dramatically but still a bit worse now yeah so um, means that maybe the rate hikes are working yeah so economy is getting getting worse over time mm -hmm. now back to the charts um oh yeah i wanted to show our longer view as well yeah so that's what we covered last week that we are uh, we were approaching um, quite significant level here yes yeah? so that level that we were approaching was somewhere here yeah a bit lower okay here so what we did um, point out was that um, from this top to this bottom it equals another leg down which is from this top to this bottom yeah mm -hmm. so a b equals c d um now that was quite accurate yeah so we saw quite sharp uh, turning uh, in this in this level basically not exactly but obviously it's quite accurate still okay mm -hmm. so that's what i wanted to point out but um, now back to the charts here 
So the next burn, turning point for um, U.S. equity markets is coming up on Wednesday, as I said earlier. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, for gold market, um, let me see now. We do uh, see some sort of stabilizing uh, price action there. We, we did see some downwards pressure there, which we did point out earlier as well and now we have another leg up possibly yeah? so uh, next week should be quite quite positive for gold mm. um, Bitcoin is approaching now um, some negative negative patterns here so we did see very very sharp rise in the prices but now from the 7th um, it is showing a tendency to the downside and the next turning point, well, we saw one yesterday yeah, on the 4th, and now the next one coming up is on 13th, the Monday in, uh, following. Yeah. So, um, yeah, something to be, bear, uh, be aware of him. Yeah. And uh, what else? Yeah, VIX has been now, oh, yeah, going to the downside, yeah, as the market has been very positive and there has been no fear at all. Mm. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. That's the situation. Now, if you look at the levels, uh, possible possible levels, so um, S&P did turn exactly on this level that we did point out, uh, 4,104, I believe, on S&P 500. Yeah? Mm. And we did stop now last week on the next, um, next resistance zone here, which was um, quite accurate, yeah? so far mm -hmm. um, and we did see uh, another signal up here uh, appearing on Thursday yeah so um, we might see tendency to the upside still uh, for a little bit more all right mm -hmm. good so that's about it I think for this week um, let's see how it plays out next week and uh, we'll meet again exactly in seven days all right <laughs> exactly like i said we we'll, uh, shall see you uh, next week before you head out here i would like to thank you for watching and listening as always if you haven't already get subscribed just hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell and notification icon so you get notified when we upload the next that's uh, weekly uh, unless otherwise said so um if you like the video click the like button and if you have any questions or you have any ideas you want to share with us then put those in the comment section down below and we shall see you in the next video bye bye have a good week